we are again. Over the past several months, I have been sending Dr. Bowers and Dr. Ting photos, but it's been a little while now since they've last examined me in person. So I think it's gonna be really good for them to look at everything and get a game plan on about how they're gonna perform this operation. I feel like we're near the end of the journey at this point. And I do feel like this is gonna be the one where they're gonna say, this is what we gotta do to finish everything up complete the process, and let Jazz go on her merry way. Hello, knock knock. Hello. 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 What's up? How's, How are we doing? How's my wonderful family? Good to see you. Jazz has had a very difficult surgical course. She had a very incredible first surgery. It went seemingly very well, but there were problems. And that prompted a second surgery, which I was not a part of, unfortunately. Yeah, this, uh, this has been a real journey, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we knew it would be tough. It turned out tougher than any of us imagined. Taking Jazz on as a patient for surgery, we knew it was gonna be a one-of-a-kind surgery. She's one of the first to have undergone complete pubertal suppression and lack of growth of the skin and other tissues which we rely on as surgeons to do this operation. And we don't have the experience of having said we've done 50 of these. I was just not expecting her to have a complication as severe as what she did have. I think in hindsight, we would have never sent you home from the hospital. Uh, you know, easy to say now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, when I wasn't here, when you had problems and had to go back, mm -hmm. I can't tell you how stressful that was. Under the circumstances, <clears throat> do you think it was important to you for our little mea culpa? <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, it's nice to hear I did something and acknowledging that. On the other hand, there's the medical side and an expectation that really should have been met. Can we take a look? Yes, Can we examine let's you? see the examination. Okay, so we'll let you change. We're not doctors, but we've had a chance to actually view what went on in the OR during Jazz's first surgery, and it's pretty disconcerting in certain ways. It's like, whoa! You know, this is what occurs while Jazz is having her surgery and the doctors sometimes don't see eye to eye. Why are you cutting there? Right here? Yeah, why? Because it, this, it's scar, Jess. I don't like it. Yeah, but there's scar everywhere. You, if you don't okay. have to cut this, why would you cut that? We can just advance it to there. Jess, let me go. But it doesn't make any sense. Why it do you need to cut that? Because this is a disfiguring scar. How do you know it's not a disfiguring scar? That's just a sulcus. These are the two labia. I mean, you may be right, but we don't know. Jess. Why don't we just open this up let me, and then see what this let looks me go, like. Jess. Let me go. I will say that I feel like things should happen in a more methodical way. This needs to advance more because we're this off center. Has, this has to come down here. I mean, this is off center. See, this is tilted. So that in order to get this midline, we need to bring that down more, and that will centralize this. I think we're saying the same thing. I'm happy. I, I have a good sense of what we need to do. Let me just take a, a picture, too. Poor thing. You could be a porn star for all the photos <laughs> we've taken. God, I'm so sorry. I did not say we that. We have to just keep joking around here, or otherwise we don't get through. Right. God knows, if we didn't laugh in the last six months, we all wouldn't right, have made it. I guess it. I'll get dressed again. You get dressed again. I am happy she has feeling in the area and the tissues have matured very nicely. But I have some concern that we can get enough mobility of the tissues that we can make the labial structures look convincing. Now that you've seen it, do you feel good? Feel good. The only problem is, is there's a limited amount of skin. Mm -hmm. But these scars now will make them better and neater. We won't make new scars. Yeah. And I know you hate scars, I know. I hate scars, yeah. So last time, the major complication was dehiscence. The right. stitches started coming apart. How right. likely do you think that's going to happen again? It's, it's always possible. I have optimism that it won't need another surgery. From just this will based be the on, last one. This will be the last one. But there's a certain amount of just uncertainty that you just have to account for. Mm -hmm. OK. I wanted to know, will I lose any sort of sensation there, nerve endings? I don't know. There is always a chance that there could be injury to the clitoris. Yeah. 
That's what I was I'm just going to ask about that. That's the biggest thing I'm worried about. I feel like I've already lost the aesthetics, you know? Hopefully after this revision, it'll look good once it heals. But if I lose some of my sensation and nerve endings, I might never experience an orgasm. I guess it's goodbye time. Mm -hmm. Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. Yep. Okay, one more hug. I'm feeling pretty confident that they're gonna pull it off and that tomorrow's surgery will be good enough and that I'll be happy with the results. So I'm hoping for the best and that this will be the last operation. It'll be continued.